You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Balder... Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir, speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Watch out! No. No, 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 no. It's okay. Got you. Behind you! God of War. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... ...or worse yet, lead you to it... ...then kill me, now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok! We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you. Good night's rest. 
and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone? And now they called me Loki. And finding the shrines the giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, <laughs> they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Einhoryar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. <laughs> Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Yggdrasil. It's been too long. I'd forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Treehouse. Lord Tyr, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. You hold still. Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tear. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tear. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Have a seat over here, and I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble. Too much space. Unsettling. Do you have a broom closet? Yes, but it's where I keep my broom. Um, some food then? Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack? Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I with a pinch of salt? Well, I'll see what I can find. the armor I made you. I used it. I busted my shapely hunkers, forging every manner of breastplate and pauldron and all of creation. And yet now you stand before me two step from butt-ass naked. 
Maybe this go around, use it a little more carefully, huh? I will not. This will be of use. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Ah, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. 
Well, a lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. So easy, huh? Shut up! Well, it's not gonna blow itself up. Yep. So, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died. But I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. <sighs> Accidental magic's not all. Sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber. Yeah. Then I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's venomous? Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Or not. We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarf. It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. Looks like there's something hidden by the horseman. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes. If only your father would. It's not what I said. I can't see the other side of the panel from here. Can you? Maybe you need a higher vantage point. <laughs> so, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. Okay. Here goes nothing! Oh. Just... 
Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Shoot! I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes. You realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. Good talk. Ironwood. 
What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Is that frozen lightning? Yep. Want a closer look? No. Door's frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Huh. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Bessel, I wish it did. Ha! See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. <clears throat> You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire, <laughs> 
caught. What are you Keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. <sighs> Which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Need to destroy the sonic piece first. All right, I just need to get a different angle on the soundstone. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me... Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Come <laughs> on. 
going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Ugh, nightmare. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
I got this, right? Yeah, I got this.
gars Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Does nothing. Freya, you should have stayed with Sindri. Wait. Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! He shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! You would stake your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father to save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us! Offered peace if we don't move against him! Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The Giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. 
My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And... and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe... I'm supposed to... help stop Odin. Somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and... you won't fight Odin... then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. What we found here... Maybe if you spoke to him... Tears alive? Yeah. We... we broke him out of Sword of Fire. Impossible! The Nine Realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. Good thing I like climbing. <sighs> oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's going to help us. Ah. Uh. Where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? 
Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Yoppa! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Yoppa! Get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. <gasps> Do they ever quit? <laughs> Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident to the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. <laughs> really? Now? <laughs> Good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... 
Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. You are certain the Giants will not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. Atreus, we're planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphine, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. 
even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks. Yeah. Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Rob. These clothes do better. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. Hey. Oh. But you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. 
Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those things? <laughs> Twilight. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, very clever. Find you, watch out! <gasps> of the Vanir who traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa, whoa. Is that a bomb? <laughs> We're the ones who speak the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphon. Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> 
Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good. I think. Father, Ooh, stick now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, Move try pulling it down. the other way. Yeah, yeah, Move it's here. Down. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Weird. They usually work. Above the door, there's a light cone. Yes, I see now. The Twilight Stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Uh, I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? 
Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered us, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success to see. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus the light elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their <laughs> thing, brother. One of those Light Bombs! Careful! Poor souls. Here, they came across on light bridges. Now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Follow me, friends. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great.
So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Another of Cavassier's poems. A better angle on that twilight. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <clears throat> oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. enemy. left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right.
Sure made a lot of these light doors. Huh. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Move stick vertical choice. Move stick vertical choice. Move stick vertical choice. Move stick vertical choice. Inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. I suppose I'll leave you to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> on the other side. Whoa! 
here can really jump. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Big ball of light coming your way! I still can't figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. still make light bridges. But now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? He feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.